What's up, YouTubers? This is your boy, Big Metroid Fan 12, coming to you with another video game review. And in this review, I'm going to talk about the game Super Mario Odyssey, which was released on the Nintendo Switch by Nintendo. And essentially, the plot of the game is that uh, Bowser is trying to um, marry Princess Peach. And when uh, Mario initially tried to stop Bowser, Bowser, like, pretty much booted him off uh, his gunship, and Mario ended up um, losing his cap in the process, and some, I guess some time later, a few minutes later, uh, Mario meets Cappy, and Cappy tells him that um, Bowser also kidnapped his sister and everything, so um, Cappy... Uh, uh, essentially replace Mario's old cap and everything and now they go on this ship called the Odyssey in order to save Princess Peach and Cappy's sister and stuff like that now uh, Super Mario Odyssey is a pretty much a sandbox game which is for the most part in a traditional um, genre for any Mario franchise even though um, Say Super Mario 64 and Super Mario Sunshine was in the vein of the sandbox genre, but this is more fits into the tropes of a uh, 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 sandbox genre in terms of like buying stuff and stuff like that. But it, I, don't, I don't know if it's a full sandbox game, but it, but anyway. One of the selling points of Super Mario Odyssey is obviously Cappy in the fact that you can use them during gameplay. You can control like different uh, enemies and uh, other NPCs to um, get the one point to another and get um, power moves and things like that. Now, the uh, main menu consists of resume, resume, two player, new game playing in VR action guide and um, option now with resume and resume two player it's pretty much the same thing in terms of picking up where you left off but the main difference of course is the fact that um, the second player essentially controls Cappy and everything in this regard the regular switch is pretty much the better option in terms of the two-player co-op because if you happen to have a, a switch light you're going to need like a, a second controller to, to, to control Cappy and stuff like that now if you start pretty much a new game you will get this text that will say uh, that you're creating a new save data and if you want to uh, continue an old, an older saved profile you go to uh, data management under uh, options and stuff like that. Now, uh, playing in VR is where you're essentially going to need um, the Nintendo Labo to, to really utilize the VR uh, mode in this game, you know what I'm saying? First, they'll ask you if you wanted to, to restrict VR mode for children six and under you can do it if you want to and then if you say yes or no they'll tell you how to set it up in regards to Super Mario Odyssey and everything and you pretty much follow any other any other following instruction and you're all set and everything and I don't know how good the Nintendo Switch Lite is in regards to a VR mode in Super Mario Odyssey but I bet I get I guess the the, uh, the regular switch is the better option in playing the VR mode in Super Mario Odyssey. Now um, the action guide is where um, it shows the different things that uh, Mario can do as far as gameplay wise. You know what I'm saying? Um, the action guide consists of like controls, basic actions, capture action, and bonus and stuff like that. Now, controls pretty much shows you the button configuration and stick configuration for uh, 
for the um, so, solo mode or two player co op as it, as it relates to uh, Super Mario Odyssey and stuff, along with the four different play styles under one player or two player co op and stuff like that. Now, the basic action is where uh, Mario can do things like long jump, uh, run, uh, wall jump, and roll and stuff like that. And um, capture action is where um, they'll show you the different enemies and NPCs that you use during your um, during your time playing and stuff like that. It can range from the bullet bills, goombas, the Koopa Troopers, and, and all that. Even uh, even the T Rex. I didn't think they would even put a T Rex in a Mario game, <laughs> but they did. You know what I'm saying? And um and this is where you, what you would need to um, get through the game. You know what I'm saying? Is uh, if you need to um need a dis to clear out a destructible um object, this is where you capture a bullet building and head straight for it and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Now um the bonus is where you look at different stuff like how to use the map. How to use the amiibos and um, you guys a few like rankings and stuff like that. Now within the game itself, there's essentially um, uh, 15 chapters in it where you like tr where you try to find power modes to uh, to power up the uh, ship Odyssey and stuff like that. And, e and in each chapter, there's essentially a certain number of power moves that you need to get um, to um, power that you need to find it within each chapter it could require defeating the boss or um, completing a time challenge or something like that uh, how you get them will vary throughout the course of the game you know what I'm saying that's what that's what I like about that aspect part of uh, the gameplay you know what I'm saying in terms of finding out the power mode now uh, like I said you, you will need Cappy to, you need to use capital throughout the course of the game, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, get to the next platform or destroying a uh, destructible uh, platform and stuff like that, you know. And, um, with Super Mario Odyssey, I think uh, this is the first Mario game in the, within the franchise that automatically save your progress. This is essentially what happens when you find a power move. It would like automatically save just like that, you know what I'm saying? But you can also save on your own if if it's been a while since you last saved, you know what I'm saying? So that's the fact you were able to save along with the automatic save are, are good uh, programming choices in my opinion, you know what I'm saying? Plus, um, if you're playing, someone can also join you during the middle of gameplay and everything was just a nice touch in my opinion and um you can also do like certain things with within super mario odyssey if you have uh the mario amiibo princess peach amiibo or uh, bowser amiibo and stuff like that within the game um menu they will tell you uh, what you're able to do with each of those amiibos and stuff i'm not going to spoil it here obviously now, um, the graphics and design of Super Mario Odyssey are very good, and it has excellent color palette, and, um, there's certain sections of Super Mario Odyssey that you, they would change Mario into 8-bit Mario, and the, color, and the color palettes with 8-bit Mario are pretty good, too, you know what I'm saying, and, um, and pretty much the, the controls and gameplay are pretty, uh, Good, you know what I'm saying, and uh, I like that uh, they included Cappy in the uh, gameplay, you know what I'm saying, which was a nice touch in my opinion on that regard, in, in regards to the gameplay, and the um, soundtrack overall is pretty good too, you know what I'm saying, they, they added um, uh, some new music to the soundtrack, and even Sylvia from Donkey Kong makes an appearance in the game, you know what I'm saying? She, um, they included, um, music from Donkey Kong 
then the then um the Super Mario Odyssey, which is a good a monster uh the first uh game that featured Mario and stuff. And, and essentially Super Mario Odyssey is one of the best games within the uh, Super Mario uh series and everything and and it has a lot to offer in terms of the gameplay and it has a high replay value even after you beat it, you know what I'm saying? Because I think most people, when they beat Super Mario Odyssey, didn't collect all the moons. And once you beat it, you you can go back and collect them and stuff like that. And I would definitely recommend Super Mario Odyssey to anybody who is a Switch owner. Especially the uh, Mario fans and stuff like that. As far as the score, I definitely give it a 10 out of 10, you know what I'm saying? Now, with that being said, you can sound off in the comment section about Super Mario Odyssey. Uh, like, any aspect of it that you like, you, you know what I'm saying? In terms of the locations or the gameplay or the music, stuff like that, it, it don't matter, you know? Uh, if you like this video, don't hesitate to click the thumbs up button. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell notification button. This is your boy, Big Metro Fan 12, signing off.